So how many languages do you need to learn before you can apply for a job? One will do it. The number of languages you know is not important. It's whether or not you can show that you can actually build something for real is important. Now, if you're doing web stack, of course, you're gonna need to know three languages. You need to know HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, at least those three. But you may get into Swift development, whether it be for uh, iPhones, iPads, or even Mac OS, then you, you only need the Swift programming language. Maybe some object to see, but Swift will be enough. If you want to become a Java developer, you need to know Java. So it's not the number of languages that is important. It's you being able to demonstrate that you have the skills to actually build something and solve problems. Remember, at the end of the day, a developer is a problem solver. So that's what you should concentrate on doing. How do you get good at that? Not playing games, not doing tutorials. It's actually building real things. So for example, in my mentoring program, once people do the fundamentals training, which is hundreds of lessons and tons of quizzing and code challenges and, and building projects, we build a few projects, more than a few. Once you've gone through this curriculum, we have people build a real website for themselves, put it online, and then we have them go out and do two to three projects so they can actually exercise some of those coder muscles that they've developed. I like to make a boxing analogy. I used to box, I used to do martial arts. When you get a fighter, well, a prospective fighter come, come into the gym, you have to first teach them the fundamentals, how to you know, balance, how to step, how to throw the basic punches, how to throw the basic combinations, uh, how to, you know, basic tactics, etc. But ultimately, they don't really learn how to fight until they get in the ring and actually start fighting. And think about that. Hey, unbelievable. Heaven forbid that you actually have to do for real what it is you want to do. So if you want to be a coder, you have to build projects. You can't just follow along in tutorials. That's like painting by numbers. And if you want to fight, you have to get in a ring, you have to fight. I used to tell people one sparring session, three rounds, is worth more than months and months of you know doing drills and uh, shadow boxing. So same thing with uh, learning to code. Once you get those fundamentals, one project completed, even something simple, is worth months and months of tutorial creation. So yeah, you need one language, minimum, depending on the stack, of course. Again, for example, if you're gonna do iOS development, all you need to know is Swift. If, you do, if you're going to do web stack, you need at least HTML5, CSS3, and JavaScript. Then you're off to the races. A big part about being a developer, and I keep saying this in all my videos, is being able to uh, think, solve problems, learn things on the fly, and execute so that you can get those problems solved. It could be putting up this e-commerce shop, could be deploying somebody's WordPress site, it could be uh, f creating, uh, hooking into some API that hooks into ChatGPT to uh, create a small chatbot on somebody's site. These are all examples of things to do. I'm sure there's a lot of people today looking at leveraging AI tools on their in their own business processes. So they go see a developer and say, okay, I wanna put a chatbot, uh, what can we do? Now, you're an experienced developer, you go, okay, probably something to do with ChatGPT. You look it up, you go to Google, chatbot, blah, 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 and you find out, oh, yeah, you can maybe hook into an API that hooks into to some sort of a AI, and you just learn how to do it on the fly. And because you understand the fundamentals well, how to do all this stuff, any proper course will teach you this, then you'll be able to, you learn on the fly and you execute on it. That's something you can show. That will impress pr prospective employers. Not that you've done five uh, tutorials on each of X languages. You're useless pretty much then. You have to get your feet dirty, not your feet. You gotta get your hands dirty with code and start writing stuff. So uh, people who know me are saying, where's the hoodie stuff? Why are you dressing like a suit? Because I've gotten to that age, I'm ancient now, and uh, old dudes like me should be wearing suits and uh, jackets, not, uh, not Mickey Mouse t-shirts. Anyway, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them below. I can't guarantee I'll, I'll answer all the questions, but what I can guarantee is if you join, check out my mentoring program, and maybe even join it, you'll get all that fabulous training, and you get to uh, join in on our bi-weekly live coaching sessions I'm there every time. That would be plenty of opportunity for you to put questions to me uh, live. All right, we'll talk soon. Bye-bye.